everybody, it's Chris Eads, known online as Wootini, uh, here with another uh, Gay Gamer video podcast, a very special Gay Gamer video podcast. This is episode 400, which I cannot believe. So I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm not going to talk about uh, the Nintendo Labo VR kit, um, which is fine since I wasn't actually able to get a copy of it, a copy, a kit, a box. Um, because when I went to pre-order it on Best Buy for, uh, to pick up in store, uh, all in-store pickup was apparently sold out. You could only pre-order it for shipping. So, um, hopefully I'll get it the following week. Uh, we shall see. Best Buy has been a little weird, but, um, so, 401, I'll be talking about Nintendo's step into VR. Uh, but for issue, issue like it's a comic. Special anniversary issue. Um, for this 400th episode of my video podcast, I cannot believe that I have been doing this for so long. I want to do something a little different, a little special. Um, I started this podcast as a way to make up for the Gay Gamer podcast on GayGamer.net. Back in the day, people loved it. The love podcasts, and everyone missed it, and it was gone, then it kind of came back, then it went for good. And I thought, as one of the <laughs> only writers still writing regularly to keep GayGamer.net alive, I thought, let me see what I can do. Uh, I don't have a professional microphone, I don't know how to edit audio, um, I like to talk, so it's fine. But uh, I didn't know what to do with audio, but I was like, I went to film school, so I have a video camera, I know how to edit video, I can make a video podcast, and like, you know, throw images in periodically, just for, you know, so you're not staring at me the entire 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and go figure, people enjoyed it. Um, people wanted to hear what I had to say. Uh, the number of those people has dwindled over the years. Um, First, when the site started to fall apart, and, like, the RSS feed broke, then I lost a bunch of viewers, uh, then the site went away completely, there was no more GayGamer.net, gay gamer but I kept going, because I wanted to keep the spirit of GayGamer.net alive, somehow. Um, I kept the site alive as long as I could, uh, and now I'm just keeping its memory alive. Um, so, to this day, I still post on Medium, my weekly Animal Crossing diaries, which were also a huge hit on GigGamer.net, um, and I also post this video podcast. I mean, also I have subscribers on YouTube, you can subscribe on YouTube instead of going to find it on Medium, which is like, whatever. Um, but I uh, have talked about a lot of things over the years, um, and I wanted to come up with like an anniversary topic for this one. Um, and I don't think I've done this before. Um, I feel like I've talked about, like, my favorite games of all time, but I wanted to talk about my favorite game series of all time. So, like, there's certain game series where as soon as a new, new one is released, I'm excited to play it. Um, so this doesn't include things like Resident Evil or like Final Fantasy, where I've liked some games but not others, so every time one comes out, I'm like, maybe, I don't know, Assassin's Creed is another one. Um, I'm like, well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but there are quite a few series that I will, like, excitedly play the next installment every time they release a new game. Obviously the first one is Animal Crossing. Have you met me? You know? I mean, come on. Uh, I will play anything Animal Crossing, except that mobile game. I just could not get into the mobile game, because it's too much like a mobile game with lots of busy work. And the whole point of Animal Crossing is that you're not meant to do anything if you don't want to. So, um, it was delightful. Thank you for the construction, hope that's not too loud for you guys. Um, but I started with Animal Crossing on my GameCube back in the day, and have literally played Animal Crossing every single day of my life since. Whatever the current Animal Crossing game is, that is the Animal Crossing that I will play every day. I played it this afternoon. Every day. 
I check in on my people, I water my flowers, I pull some weeds, I do some errands, whatever. It's fun, it's relaxing, it's what real life should be, what it isn't. Um, and I'm super excited for a Switch version, which I just need soon. Um, but uh, Animal Crossing, best series ever. Um, another game, which is technically not a series, but I'm going to pretend that it is so that I can mention it, is No Man's Sky. Because No Man's Sky is brilliant and amazing and wonderful. I have loved it since day one. It's not technically a series. It's just the one No Man's Sky game. Because you can't make a sequel to No Man's Sky. Like, what are you going to do? Create another universe? There's already another universe. You can already go from one universe to another in the game. So there's really nothing else to make a sequel to. But what you can do, what they have done, is they've done these big updates. And it has created, it's almost like a new game. So, you know, Atlas Rises, uh, Next, and now Beyond is coming. So I'm considering those sequel new games in the series. Those are new games in the series. That way I can pretend that it's a series of No Man's Sky games because I'm always excited anytime there is a new No Man's Sky game <laughs> released. Update. Um, another one that I have enjoyed, although this one isn't a constant, uh, like Animal Crossing. This one, uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, I enjoyed Tomb Raider when it first, you know, on the PlayStation back in the day. Like, the original Tomb Raider was awesome. Tomb Raider 2, also awesome. Tomb Raider 3 was slightly less awesome. And then I kind of fell off. And then they did, like, weird spin-off things, and I was like, you know what, I'm good. Um, but then they did the reboot of Tomb Raider, and it was so good! So, I was super excited about that one, and jumped on the second one. The third one I have not yet played, uh, which I will. I was going to, but then uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was on sale, as you might recall in my previous episodes. Um, so, I will wait until Tomb Raider goes on sale. Which, by the time I finish Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it should be darn cheap, because that game is huge. Um, another series that I have been a huge fan of is Mass Effect. Um, the original trilogy is so good, such a good story, such great characters, it's just fantastic. Um, I didn't even mind the ending, um, and in fact, Mass Effect 3 is one of the few games to actually make me play online multiplayer. That hardly ever happens. But I wanted to get the best ending I could, so I played a lot of online multiplayer. Um, I even liked Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, something else came out at the time that was released. I think it might have been Tomb Raider, actually. So I said, well, I'll play it later. But then it got, like, really bad reviews, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't play it at all. But then it got better, and people were like, no, it's not that bad. And there were updates to fix things, and people were like, no, it's fine. And it was, like, super cheap flash sale on the PlayStation Network, so I got it for, like, nine bucks. And I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And it's sad that we're not going to probably get any more Mass Effect games. Um, then there's also the other series that I enjoy, which are, uh, the, uh, music rhythm games that I will always play, uh, every version of, um, such as Rock Band, all the rock bands, okay, not all the rock bands, like, Beatles Rock Band was awesome, I never got Lego Rock Band for some reason, I don't know why, I like Lego, it's fun, but I never got Lego Rock Band for some reason, um, and it's sad because rock. The, the problem with the music game series that I love, like Rock Band, is that they are no more. So it's sad. Uh, there's never going to be another Rock Band game, probably. Pretty sure. Same thing with SingStar on the PlayStation. Loved SingStar. Super fun, great karaoke game. And um, it's dead. Boo. Um, and then there's things like Dance Central. Which, technically, is not dead, because Dan Central has a new game that is coming out, but it's a VR game, and that's weird, and it's not, you know, motion control connect dancing full body experience, so it's not really Dan Central, it's not like proper Dan Central, so, um, proper Dan Central is basically dead, because the connect is dead. It's a good try, um, but I miss Dan Central. Um, so, 
it's sad because I love my music rhythm games and as a genre it seems to be dying. So all my favorite music game series are just gone and that's sad to me. So I would love a new sing star or rock band or anything. Um, like I, I don't play my music games anymore because it used to be that there'd be, oh, there'd be new sing star songs or new rock band songs and that would keep me playing the game. But without regular updates, I kind of forget that it's there and then I don't think to play it. I'm sad. Um, so that's it for this time around. Um, I just wanted to share some of my favorite game series um, on my consoles and uh, share yours in the comments. Uh, let me know what game series you will always support and love and buy a new game in. And thank you again for continuing to watch me sit on my couch and blather on about video games. Um, there's like 30 or so of you, 30 to 40 of you that listen and watch me every week. And I appreciate it because it's a video podcast, so you can't even like put it on and listen to it while you're like driving or commuting or whatever. Like it's a video. You have to kind of watch me. I mean, I guess you don't have to. The visuals aren't really that important usually. It's just some pictures just so you're not staring at me. Um, occasionally I have a cute video clip and stuff, but, um, yeah, no, um, thank you so much for watching, and, um, I'm gonna keep doing this, so, uh, as long as people keep watching, like, maybe when it gets down to, like, only ten views an episode, then I might say, you know what, it's not really worth the effort anymore, but I enjoy talking to you guys, I enjoy when you guys talk back, and, uh, See you next time for episode 401, where hopefully I'll talk about the Nintendo VR Labo kit. If it comes in the mail, we'll see. Bye!